Nigerians have been taxed to shun the spread of fake news in the light of the current coronavirus pandemic. Several journalists spoke to Plus TV Africa's correspondent in Abuja, urging the public to verify any information seen on social media regarding the coronavirus in a bid to stop spreading fear to the populace. Our correspondent Amadin Ui tells us more. With the advent of the coronavirus pandemic, over 595,000 persons have been diagnosed with contacting the virus and almost 28,000 recorded deaths. At present, the US, Italy, and China have borne the brunt of the pandemic, having the largest populations affected by the virus. In Nigeria alone, over 80 cases have been recorded with one case proving fatal. As journalists are saddled with the responsibility of informing the populace, Many believe they remain at risk, tasking Nigeria's government to take up the responsibility and ensure their protection. Everything about journalism in Nigeria is exposing yourself to risk. We have not had any case, we have not proved any case of a journalist being infected. But the truth of the matter is that in the course of doing your job, you have to, you know, get yourself some protection. This is a national call to action. It is incumbent on government to provide the basic necessities. Hand sanitizers, face masks and gloves for journalists. We have a strategic warehouse for these consumables. There are people that are fundamentally should be in the first line charge of making these things available. And journalists are part and parcel of those persons in the front lines, including medical personnel. A chat with several journalists in Abuja, the nation's capital, they say with journalists properly equipped, it will curb the spread of fake news. They also want Nigerians to be more responsible and shown unverified information. People should listen more to traditional and online media that are credible. People should uh, stay away from social media, um, speculations because there's so much ongoing in social media and various whatsapp groups people are busy posting you know you drink lime four times a day you drink it at these specific times and all of that you have to bait like this and like that so people need to be very careful if at any point in time anybody gives information and that information is unverified that means you are misinforming the people so the the most important thing is that anything you get about coronavirus, somebody being positive or not being positive or whatever, it should be properly verified. Some of them think fake news will create fear and panic among the public. We need truthful information. Don't give us, don't tell us that uh, this person has tested positive. Give us the basis of the information. How did you get it? How did you arrive at it? Cut down on the news intake. While it is important you follow the news, you cannot be on the news 24 hours. If you do, you go into overdrive and it will not be good for anybody. Of social media people that are not really being sincere. You can see uh, just now, a few minutes ago, there's a news and they said the Ayabelo tested positive. I said, and I have to ask the person, what's the source of your information? I think Nigeria should learn to seek for credible means. If you need information on COVID-19, just go to NCDC website. They upload almost five minutes, so you can go there and get any credible information you want to know about. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.